Creating a presentation that allows your user to interact takes them out of the passive role and gets them much more engaged. To create an interactive presentation in Bright Author, we'll select our zone and check the Interactive Radio button. You'll notice that the initially linear playlist is now replaced with the flowchart layout. This layout allows for easy graphical creation and management of more complex presentation structures. From there we would add all our media files to the interactive playlist by dragging and dropping. To create a complete experience, however, we'll need to make our connections between these files and implement some events and triggers. Let's see how all this is done with an example of basic user interactivity. A common input type for viewers is a button system. For our example, we'll use basic numbered buttons, such as the ones that can be found on the BrightSign GPIO button board. We want to display a simple menu of three video options from which the viewer can choose. To start with, we'll navigate to our initial menu screen, which is the menu underscore three option dot JPG in the media library and place it on the stage. By default, it will be marked as the home screen with this icon. We can designate any other file as the home screen anytime by double clicking and checking set as initial state. We'll then drag our three video options to the stage. To make our button based connections, simply select the desired event button in the event bar and start dragging a line from the bottom portion of the menu screen file to the corresponding video. Because the number zero is selected while we create this connection, we're essentially saying that if the zero button is pushed at any time while this menu screen is present, that event will instruct the BrightSign unit to go to the associated video and begin playback. We'll continue to do this for the two other buttons as well, logically using ascending numbers to match our buttons. We'll also create a connection back to the menu at the end of each video. To do this, we'll select the Media End event and drag from our videos back to our home page. This tells BrightSign that the video ending will be an event that triggers a connection back to the main menu. With that complete, we want to add one more additional option. This will be a fourth Return to Menu button, which will allow the viewer to escape out of any of the videos to return to the menu even before the video is complete. So we'll select our fourth button, actually number three since we started with button zero, and drag from each of our videos back to the menu, or home screen. As you can guess, this means that BrightSign will respond to a number three button press during the videos by jumping back to the menu. Now we have an interactive menu that allows viewers to select from three different video presentations and the ability to return to the menu and choose again at any time.